With lead producer Mary Olsen now leaving 343, does this mean that there is development drama going on with Halo Infinite? 343 says otherwise. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news commentary when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know if you see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Mary Olsen leaving 343 and 343's response about that departure as well. And if you're new to the channel, what's up today with anything Halo related, Halo Infinite, Halo 5, MCC, Reach, everything in between, make sure you tap subscribe guys, keep yourselves up to date with everything going on with Halo, and we'll get you right into the video here. Now as stated, at the beginning of this video, Mary Olsen, who is a lead producer at 343, she's recently left that position to join old co-worker Josh Holmes, the former lead uh, creative director, I think it was, or something like along those lines of Halo 5, who created went off and created his own studio called Midwinter Games. Now she's going to be joining over there to become a head of production for the indie developer Midwinter Entertainment. Like I said, also, uh, the, who is the lead of that team is going to be actually Josh Holmes. And also previously, a few months ago with Tim Longo, who was the creative director leaving 343. Does this mean that Halo Infinite development is currently in some drama, some dilemma going on where people are just jumping out because things are just not working out well over there. Well, it may look like that on the outside, but again and again, there are only two people that have just left 343. 343 is a very large team with very many moving parts and many, many, many people in the way. And plus, we still have Chris Lee, who's the head of the entire production of Halo Infinite. So as long as he's on board, I think the production will be just fine. But obviously, with these people leaving, it's understandable to have some kind of concerns. I'm starting to get a little concerned as well when I saw this as well. I'm like, well, now, not only do we lose a creative director, but they also lost a lead producer who's also actually involved with uh, heavily involved with the campaign a little bit with multiplayer as well but mainly the campaign especially towards the end of the development which was mentioned here by 343 and so people are wondering like oh is the campaign not working out how people think it's going to be uh, you know, are people having creative differences and just bouncing out well Unishike actually went to reddit to kind of quell some of these uh, issues happening right here and this is what Unishike said I will say that I'm going to be kind of clipping out some bits of quotes here from Unishai because the whole thing he wrote was quite long and be a little bit wordy for you guys for it to be in a video so basically I'm just gonna paraphrase and kind of give you some quotes in here uh, talking about what uh, Tim and Mary's position and what they were involved with here Tim's role as a creative director was to help make creative decisions around the design and direction of the game whether it was campaign multiplayer etc Mary's role as an executive producer and then lead producer on campaign campaign was to help drive the game to its completion for our holiday 2020 release with the latter specifically focusing on campaign deliverable. So there was a bit of confusion saying that Mary took over Tim's role. That did not happen at all. Uh, actually, Tim's role was basically just kind of overseeing the game to kind of make sure that things on the campaign and multiplayer were kind of falling in line with what they wanted to accomplish. Mary's role was to kind of be the person who kind of presses the issue on the workers, making sure that they are meeting their deadlines, uh, completing deliverables on schedule. And so that's what the differences were between those two jobs. Very different. There might be some uh, minor details, but they are very different and worth having at the at the 343. I will say it's also important to take note that both of these people left their positions at 343 for another job. They didn't just get up and leave without any backup plan. So it's not like a burning bridges kind of situation. These people seem to be moving on to other, other positions that may have more control over a project, which ultimately for a person involved with game development, having more responsibilities and more control over projects, which is really just kind of jobs in general, is really good to have on a resume. So when you're able to kind of level yourself up I guess in a way to a higher position within a company whether it being 343 or a smaller uh, indie dev like uh, Midwinter that Mary went to uh, she's, she sounds like she has a lot more control over what the uh, game's going to be and especially with these people that they've made such a strong name within the gaming community of uh, development that they can really just find a job no matter what no matter where they want to go uh, it's really a more of an, of an issue of what jobs they want to do rather than what jobs they can get and so 
Yeah, it's understandable that they want to move to different positions here. I mean, that's what we all do at our regular jobs, right? We just kind of hop over to we find the next best thing for us. And this must, like, apparently, this is the best thing for Tim and Mary to do is go and find these other jobs at different locations. Uh, now, it's definitely not as bad as I've seen previously in other game development where people were just jumping ship. Especially, that happened a lot with uh, Bioware when it came to Mass Effect Andromeda, I believe, where a lot of, a lot of key developers left, got up and left, uh, because the game was just not turning out how they wanted. Like I saw like this person, like this person, this person, this person, so... Um, and that was all within like a three month span. So retrospectively, this is only just two people leaving a large team of 343. And I don't think this is much to worry about. Again, like I said earlier, that like Chris Lee is still in a head position of uh, Halo Infinite as a whole. So as long as he's guiding the ship, he's the one behind the wheel steering the, steering the whole thing, I'm pretty sure Halo Infinite will be just fine. Now, if he bounces, then it's time to get worried. But leave a comment down below guys what your thoughts are on this news. Do you think 343 is having some creative differences and some uh, some drama going on within them? That's why people are leaving? Or you think people are just leaving because they find better positions for themselves? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read a lot of comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap that like button, guys, because it really helps out the channel and the video gets more notoriety. Like, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.